Well, hello and welcome to the Tuesday DC Today. Oh, greetings from beautiful Minnetonka, Minnesota, where the Bonson Group's uh, office has been for a couple years out here in the wonderful Minneapolis region of the country. We have enjoyed a very busy day of some client meetings today, uh, doing a lovely client dinner event tonight. Uh, truly enjoying my time with the great team we have assembled out here in Minneapolis with Phil and Michelle and Stoddard and Sarah and Reed and Matt and our newest member, Megan. So a uh, wonderful group of people that many of you know, but I am here for your purposes to briefly talk about this uh, sell-off in the market today. Um, well, the market was pretty much up for the first hour or so, kind of flattish and then sold off quite a bit, actually at one point down, you know, over 500 points. Closed the day down 367. So from uh, for about the last four hours of the day, it had a steady comeback of about 150, 200 points, but nevertheless was coming back from a pretty deep sell-off. That was almost entirely related to um, ongoing anxiety in the regional bank sector. You had some pretty well-known regional banks down 25%, 18%, quite a few down uh, in between 9 and 12%. Um, after hours, I've gone through the particulars of about eight of these banks. And, and so there's just no question that there's a pretty organized assault. You have short selling uh, um, interest that has increased dramatically. And so the shorts are kind of having their day right now. And it's not rocket science. They're looking for uh, companies that seem to have a high percentage of assets marked at a hold to maturity value versus mark to market value, uh, you know, outside of the interest rate uh, component uh, where rates and duration risk have moved prices. And then of course, um, banks that have a lot of low cost, low interest uh, fixed mortgages that are probably uh, mispriced from their carry value as well. And they, the shorts may have their fun and get out of the way, uh, they may, stick around a bit, we'll, we'll see. Um, of course, it strikes me as somewhat incomprehensible that in the middle of this, in both the aftermath of what was the First Republic uh, debacle and, of course, last month, Silicon Valley, that we're looking at uh, Fed raising rates more. Uh, right now, you have an average three-month CD for banks that have 10 to $50 billion of deposits that has gone up a quarter of a point since March, and for the big banks, it has gone down uh, 0.36 percent. And, and so um, you're talking about a 60 basis point difference in what a uh, basic three-month CD, the uh, regional bank might have to pay out versus a uh, bigger bank just in the last six weeks. That's how much of a difference you've seen. So the funding costs have gone way up for regionals and way down for large banks, and that therein lies the rub. And for extreme cases with deposit outflows being bad enough and, and uh, certain questions on the loan nature and asset nature, particularly with high commercial real estate, on some of the asset, the balance sheet of these regionals, that, that's where the, this opportunity is. I uh, continue to believe that it's not a, a decidedly fundamental story. I want to po point out uh, by fundamental story, I mean in the macro. I mean, obviously, it's incredibly fundamental in the moment for these individual companies in the micro. But I uh, think that we want to take it all in the right context here. You got the VIX was up, you know, 10 or 11 percent today to a whopping 17. I mean, the fear index in the broad markets is non-existent. Bonds rallied big today. There was a fight to safety. The 10-year was down 10 basis points. But technically, even in a sell-off day in market, you had the Dow, S&P, and NASDAQ each down 1 point something percent, 1.06%, 1 1.08%, um, each being down roughly about the same amount. And you technically had consumer discretionary up a tad. Energy got walloped. The regional banks got walloped. Uh, but no, I, I believe that we're going to want to get through what the FOMC does tomorrow with the Fed, not just the rate decision, but primarily the comments and direction given afterwards. We'll see how determined the Fed is to break something, because if they want to break the entire regional banking sector and force everybody in the country to be a client of a large bank, I guess they have the power to do that. It doesn't seem to me to be within their mandate. I'll leave it there. Um, that's what's happened in the markets today. 
And we'll look forward to coming back to you with more of an update tomorrow. Uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Thank you for reading the DC today. Mm-hmm.